Welcome back to the presentation. Our topic is power series expansion of a standard function fx is equal to e to the power x. Before starting this topic, we shall learn what is power series. A series of the form summation n is equal to 0 to infinity a n x to the power n is equal to a 0 plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square plus so on plus a n x to the power n plus so on. So where x is a real variable x is the real variable and a 0 a 1 a 2 a 3 so on a n and so on are all the real constants okay so this series is real power series this is known as the real power series okay every such power series converges at x is equal to 0 okay in general there exists r is greater than 0 such that the power series converges for all x okay this type of series converges for all x in negative r less than x less than r that is when x belongs to open interval minus r comma r or we may draw a line negative infinity to positive infinity and there are two values taken negative r and positive r okay so at the end point the behavior is in doubt that means at minus r and positive r Mm, the behavior is in doubt outside this interval the series diverges that means here the series diverges also from r to positive infinity series diverges okay we call the interval this interval negative infinity to positive in, in uh, positive r negative r to positive r this interval of convergence or range of validity and these are the radius of convergence these are is the radius of convergence some power series converges for every real value of x then we say r is equal to infinity that means at that moment we shall say x belongs to negative infinity to positive infinity okay negative infinity to positive infinity so friends now we shall learn the uh, power series expansion of e to the power x function is fx is equal to e to the power x okay so for every positive integer n it implies that fn x that means the nth derivative of this function fx is equal to again e to the power x thus f has derivatives of all orders in any interval negative h to positive h okay in this interval whatever whatever positive real value h may be we shall take x belongs to x belongs to the interval minus h to h okay so what can we say from here f of 0 is equal to e to the power 0 that is equal to 1 and from this one we can say that fn 0 is also 1 because e to the power 0 is equal to 1 for all n belongs to the set of natural numbers okay so friends now we shall see the lagrange's remainder rn okay the lagrange's remainder rn after n terms in maclaurin's finite development becomes this one rn is equal to x to the power n divided by n factorial into fn theta x isn't it that means this is equal to x to the power n divided by n factorial times e to the power theta x where 0 less than theta less than 1 okay so now friends we shall write the maclaurin's infinite series corresponding to fx is equal to e to the power x so the maclaurin's maclaurin's infinite series is now f0 f0 plus x f dash 0 plus x square divided by 2 factorial 
f double dash 0 plus so on plus x to the power n divided by n factorial fn 0 plus so on and this series uh, the Maclaurin infinite series corresponding to the function fx is equal to e to the power x this is the expansion okay now f0 you know f0 is equal to 1 so we replace these values 1 plus x f dash 0 is also 1 because fn0 is equal to 1 so we can write 1 plus x plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus so on plus x to the power n divided by n factorial plus so on okay this infinite series is convergent and converges to e to the power x if and only if limit n tends to infinity of rn is equal to 0 okay now we shall show this one again i repeat this infinite this infinite series that means the Maclaurin's infinite series corresponding to fx is equal to e to the power x convergent and converges to e to the power x this converges to e to the power x if and only if limit n tends to infinity positive infinity of rn is equal to 0 friends we know that a limit n tends to infinity x to the power n divided by n factorial is equal to 0 for all x y uh, you may write n is equal to x to the power n divided by n factorial so that you can get n plus 1 is equal to x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial isn't it so for limit n tends to infinity n plus 1 divided by modulus n is equal to 0 and hence and hence n tends to 0 as n tends to positive infinity now friends limit n tends to infinity okay limit n tends to infinity of rn what is rn rn, RN is lagrange's remainder rn okay that means after n terms in Maclaurin's finite development. So limit r n tends to infinity of Rn is equal to limit n tends to infinity x to the power n divided by n factorial into e to the power theta x where 0 less than theta less than 1. Okay. So since limit n tends to infinity x to the power n divided by n is equal to 0 so ultimately we are getting 0 into a bounded value that means this e to the power theta x lies between e to the power 0 and e to the power x for all x and hence it is bounded so we can we get the limiting value of rn when n tends to infinity is 0 for all x belongs to minus h to h whatever h may be so we can write x belongs to negative infinity to positive infinity okay so we can now write the expansion of e to the power x so e to the power x is equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus so on plus x to the power n divided by n factorial plus so on for all x belongs to r this is what we call actually the power series expansion of e to the power x okay this is the power series expansion of e to the power x now see for all a below a is greater than 0 that means uh, for a is not is equal to 0 a is not is equal to 1 sorry for for all a greater than 0 a is not is equal to 1 and for all x belongs to r we can write a to the power x is equal to e to the power x log a isn't it we can write this one na? e to the power x log a so this is equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial 
plus log of a plus x square divided by 2 factorial log a whole square plus so on plus x to the power n divided by n factorial times log a whole to the power n plus so on. The expansions of e to the power x and a to the power x are called the exp exponential series. So from where we have started we want to show it again power series expansion of a standard function fx is equal to e to the power x. Finally we get this one the expansion of e to the power x is equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus dot 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 plus x to the power n divided by n factorial plus so on for all x belongs to r this is the expansion power series expansion of e to the power x this is the standard form also we got the expansion of a to the power x as this one a to the power x is equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial times log a plus x square divided by 2 factorial into log a whole square plus so on plus x to the power n divided by n factorial times log a whole to the power n plus so on. Thank you. Have a nice day.